All right, guys, they're playing a Riffin top lane into a very interesting matchup. Um, we're playing against the buffed champion. We're playing against a Jarvan top now. And in case you guys haven't seen it, like Jarvan top lane has, has been becoming more meta because they overly buffed Jarvan uh, for whatever reason. He was very unpopular for a long time. But ever since he received the buffs, he's been... He's been pretty active. Anyway, I'll show you how to beat it. Um, in short, what we have is the Conquer page. We also have Nimbus, Transcendence, two Adaptive, and then also a Longsword. <clears throat> Actually, quite impressed with the fact that Jarvan's pushing this very, like, very hard level one. It's very smart, though, because uh, this should be a winning matchup for me. But uh, this guy is running uh, Grasp, and he's currently got it active. So if I go for a trade, I'm actually going to lose it because he's got Bone Plating. <clears throat> At least I think he's got bone plating. He's got the grass page. I'm assuming that he's probably got bone plating. This plate is a little bit safe. I'll be uh, playing for the level uh, level three specifically. Take my W here because I think I can get a trade. Nice. He's got no bone plating. That's really good. Really good for me. Hmm. Not gonna lie though, this Jarvan does have a, a decent brain with how he's playing it because he's shoving it super hard, which leaves me with no option. Huh? That's random. I think we can probably get a kill now. If he walks up, I'm gonna kill him directly. Hmm. Messed up my Q. Not bad. Not bad from him. Now we kind of have a problem, because even though we got a gank from him, uh, Jarvan's playing the game with TP, so we'll probably come back with a secondary longsword. Probably. But yeah, if you play this smart with the wave, we should be able to get a reset. I'll be stacking the wave up, so if Jarvan makes his way back, he's going to TP or just walk back, doesn't matter what he does. I'm going to try using the wave to my advantage. Uh, the bigger the wave is, the easier I can shove this in. Sidestep. Nice. Just gonna drop the E down. That's good for me. Now we have the wave completely stacked up, so... That'll definitely help. Oh. Anti step. Now we shove. Yes, it got really close <clears throat> because he also had the shield, but still turned out to be a good one. <coughs> Guys, if you ever get into a situation like this where you could potentially, um, um, uh, you know, not being able to push and him freezing, try stacking the wave up because even though they buy a new item, if you stack the wave up and it's like two times the wave, um, your opponent cannot fight you because the wave is too massive, right? Even if you're like 60% HP, if they look for all-ins and they don't have bone plating, um, you can use your ignite to go for like a full burst combo and just kill them, you know? That's what a lot of people don't know. There's a lot of damage you can dish out in, in just a couple seconds on Riven. Really good. <clears throat> hey, by the way, way to... Wavey, thanks so much for the sub, Prime, man. Welcome to the sub family, dude. Thank you so much, man. So now we're going to do the same thing again. Um, knowing that Jarvan does not play the game with bone plating, we don't have to proc the bone plating, which makes the matchup uh, definitely a little bit easier. I think he's playing the game with uh, conditioning. Probably. Is that Jarvan right there? Yeah, that's Jarvan right there. Uh, if he uses the plants, that no, no, no. Okay. Come here, come here. Yeah, nice. All right, I'm gonna block the. Okay, good. He survived. Good. I will not prevent him from getting the camp because I don't want to lose the wave. Nice. 
Now we shove this out. And we go back. I hope it's not gonna freeze. I think it will. Mm, terrible. But yeah, whatever. It's fine. I need to reset. Can't stay. Because then I'll be uh, playing losing lane. Because then I have too much gold. I need to get back and buy my items. Because otherwise I'm going to be too weak. Hey, Spying Toaster. Thank you so much for the sub gift, Spying Toaster. You're always gifting so many subs, Spying Toaster. Thanks, man. <clears throat> always trying to get into the YouTube vid, man, with your sub gift. <laughs> I know what you're doing, Spying Toaster. <laughs> okay, so the wave is now really... Oh. Actually. That's a kill right there. So, even though I don't have my ultimate, as you can see, right? It does not matter. Because Jarvan started to engage with the combo, right? Now, it's okay for Jarvan to start a, a, a combo like that. Because if he does it correctly, he could get a kill. But since I am full HP. And I have Iron Spike, Warhammer, plus the Ignite. And him using combo right at me at the first second. That means that for the next 5-6 seconds. He won't have the, um, the combo available to him anymore. Which means that if I go for an all-in. I can just burst him before he can kill me, right? Even without my ultimate, I I definitely have enough damage with my Iron Spike and also my Warhammer with my Knight to be able to do this, right? Now I have ultimate, so even if I am low on HP, I should be able to kill him again. And there it is, right? So first I killed him with Ignite. Then he comes back. He's going to pop in his next Q or whatever. Whether it's E or Q, it does not matter. If he uses Q, it's on cooldown. He can no longer jump away. And then I just look for all in and then I kill him. Super simple. Like you got to you gotta use your brain in this matchup. Every time he uses the spell or whatever. Or he uses the combo. That's basically an opportunity for you to potentially all in and get the kill, right? Very simple. So... That's kind of what you're doing with all the other matchups too. You're, it's, it's all the same concept. You just play around their abilities. <laughs> Super <enemy> simple. <coughs> okay, let's get back. Iron Spike. This one. And I want to get Blue Jinket eventually, but... Hold on, we'll hold on to that. Yo, thank you again for the sub gift spying toaster. Another sub gift. An thank you so much, man. Slain. I appreciate that. So he's got Sheen, uh, Tear for spamming, he's got two long swords. So in terms of him spamming abilities, he's got the advantage because he can kill me from long range. But it does make him weak against my um, my, my all-ins, right? Because if he uses Q, he can no longer jump away and then it's like a free kill for me. So knowing that this guy has completely lost lane because I already have my Gorjinker. If he tries to do anything now, whether he roams or starts like fighting me or something like that. I could just all in at all at all times. Like I am too far ahead now. I have a yeah. Okay, he's now roaming, so I'm gonna shove this out, and I'll show you a little tiny tactic here. Check this out. So Jarf is currently down here. If he's gonna roam top now, I'm gonna kill him under tower or before he gets to the lane. You don't want to kill. Late. We're looking at the map. We're seeing Jarf in the mid lane. On our plate. Jarf in still mid lane. We're going to keep very good track of what he's up to. Because the second he's going to run top lane again. I'll be looking to all in him. He's going to go back to base. Sure. We're going to place a ward down here. He's going for a TP. And now he's done. Yep. 
Now, the reason why we were able to kill him so easily is, again, the same concept I've been trying to tell you. If Jarvan uses his Q, even if it's under tower, if you have a lot of damage, you just kill him. Like, he's got no combo anymore. Jarvan relies on the combo. Pretty much. If he uses Q, he doesn't. he's lost the combo. He's also dead. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to touch the turret now. <clears throat> and now we just wait. Because I want the wave to go down first. An ally has been slain. Nice. Oh. Nice third Q. I knocked him while also walking backwards at the same time. Yeah, he does. He obviously does beat me. He's really fat though, so I gotta be careful. He's looking to fight me. Let's take the wave and do nothing. Until I have my ultimate. If I have my ultimate, I'll beat him. <clears throat> nice try. If he uses his five stacks, then I can just all in and kill him for free. So I'm just waiting for him to use his five stacks. He, he probably will use it eventually. I'm assuming. He will use it eventually. We also have a Darius like pathing topside, so just gotta be uh, playing safe temporarily. I got 3000 gold, so I'm kind of weak. Uh, smart guy, he's blocking me off of the wave. But he will die soon because Darius is on the way. <clears throat> He had no ability, so I could just go for free. Now we push. Yeah, Gragas used all abilities, so good luck killing me under tower. You have nothing. Like, his Q might have been up, probably. But I don't think they would have killed me. Because the Q of Gragas will do more damage based on how long you drop it for. If you drop it and you explode it immediately, it does less damage. So I don't think that would have ever killed me, even if he threw it. It would have probably not killed me. Um, now we're going to go for Black Lever and then also for Lucidity Boots as well as uh, Armor. Armor is really good against Jarvan and Pantheon. Pantheon will be useless because more armor means I can last longer and Pantheon is full burst. At least he needs to be played burst. If he goes for like uh, Bruce or Pantheon, he will never kill me anymore. <clears throat> now we pretty much shove all of this out. Of course, check the brushes because there could be a pantheon up here. Very good. Let's go for some jungle camps. If we can steal the jungle camps, we get even more ahead. No. Oh. <coughs> I don't know who's gonna show here, but I'll kill him. If Jarvan moves up, it's likely that someone else is up here. Because Jarvan has no reason to 1v1 me. Because I'm way stronger than him. Killing spree. 
I'm getting uh, Gragas. Told you. But Gragas doesn't beat me. This guy doesn't have enough damage currently for me. I'm uh, very tanky. <clears throat> I think I might go for probably. I want to go Dead Stance, but I also want to go Multi Memorius. I'll go this first because it's crucial that I get Dead Stance because otherwise I'm just gonna keep dying over and over again by uh, by uh, Pantene and Jarvan. And after the Dead Stance, I'll probably go for Multi Memorius because that provides me uh, magic resist and damage. Make sure that if he pops the plant that I would uh, jump along with it. There's no way to outplay that stuff. <laughs> I tried jumping to Ezreal. I was hoping that if if I walk backwards that Ezreal would like walk back into me and then I could jump on Ezreal and hit like three people with my gore drinker. That's what I was trying to do. Unfortunately, it failed. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's okay. <clears throat> you see, like, this is, like, one of the reasons why Death Sense is so important. Because if I had Hydra, for instance, I would die instantly. Like, no survive, no surviving for me. But if I have Death Sense, I have the pickaxe and armor. Then I can survive the burst from Pantheon and Jarvan. <clears throat> Oh, we're going to get kills. I'm going to kill all of them. Wait a second. I'm going to kill them all. Looks very free for me. Ah, I failed it. A little bit unlucky, bro. I could have I could have played that better. For sure. I messed up my combo. Pantheon flashed. Gragas also flashed. I messed up my combo, bro. I could have had two kills or three kills, maybe. Feels bad, man. It's okay. I am not happy with the items. That's all. Because I can't buy anything. I have like 850. That's not good for me. Suppose I could go for this. At least we get something out of it. <clears throat> a little bit unlucky, but we'll pull through, no problem. Kind of a. I wouldn't say a difficult game, but. We've had two difficult team fights. Um, yeah, they definitely have vision. An ally has been slain. Another flash? What? How many flashes? Bro, I got like four flashes in like one minute. What do you mean? Why does all of these people have flashes? Uh, four flashes in like one minute. How unfortunate.
I need pressure from my teammates now. Four top lane would be good. I think there might be a fight in mid. <clears throat> I feel like Jin is not pushing. Or is just really slow. Ah, there will be a team fight there now. That sucks. They're gonna lose that. Ah, he's got E again. It's actually quite low cooldown. Huh. I think they probably got Baron now. Because they killed my entire bot lane. Pretty sure they, uh, they're doing it. Hey, Spying Toaster, thank you again for the sub gifts. Thank you for the third one, man. They're definitely on the way here. Also, Drake is spawning at 50. I need dead stance now. I need to get a reset. <clears throat> See here? No one's up there. Drake spawns in 40. This needs to be a dragon for us. Good. Uh, let's go with this one. Just an extra longsword. I'm pretty sure that uh, Malti Mortius is going to do a lot of good stuff here. This is not very good. Again, just such a bad team fight. Such a bad team fight. Ah, uh, such a bad one, man. I was just trying to get like a three man flash off. Guess what? I got like one. These team fights are hard to play, man. Like, I know that my teammates are, are like not doing well. That's partially the problem. We are really strong, but every team fight is just bad, man. It's not in my favor. Dude, I'm unlucky with the team fights this game. I can't play them correctly. Because this time I wanted to get like a three man ult off, but I couldn't do it because there were like two people in front and my whole team died beforehand. So I couldn't play the team fight out. I lost my flash for that, by the way. This Astro is, is a big problem. Can't make it to Ezreal. It's just too hard to do. Do a jump off. <clears throat> Maybe. Nah, he's playing too safe. Jarfin is still in our base, by the way. Man, it's such a hard game. I feel like we're lacking the damage. So much. The problem is that Jin is playing the game with Hydra. Like, I think that's the problem. We don't actually have any damage on ADC because of the, the Hydra build. Jin with Hydra doesn't make any sense in my opinion. I don't know why he's playing it. <clears throat> An ally has been slain. 
Such a weird build. Hydra and Mana Moon. Mana Moon on Jin. I don't know. It's terrible. I maybe it's good for the AOE AOE clear, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, that's another catch. Sure, we'll take that. No problem. Yeah. We're getting... Um, we're getting very strong. I'm going to pick up the item and then we're going to go topside because Drake is spawning soon. Like 1 minute 20 and then it spawns. Nice. Let's see what your offense up to. Either way, I, I get the shelf now, so that's gonna help. That's gonna be really good for the for the team. Forty-five seconds for Drake. We're almost there. I'd say around like. 20 seconds, roughly, we're going to start rotating. Wow, I couldn't 1v2 that. That's insane. What's the damage? 2.4k from Pantheon. Wow. I'm actually quite surprised. I, I thought I was way stronger than these two. Jarfin is really, really strong. It surprises me. Like, this guy is actually doing damage. I'm underestimating the Jarfin buffs, man. Ah, that sucks. Perhaps maybe a Guardian's Angel would probably fix... Or Spear of Shoujin. I'm thinking more about going for Guardian's Angel at the moment than going for Spear of Shoujin. So I might even sell this stuff. There I go. I'll chase it down, no problem. Gotcha. Every time he queues, he's going to slow himself down. So it's only working. He can only jump so often until I get to him. Um, maybe we can get a jungle camp more? Maybe. I kind of like the S-Row build, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I've got my Guardian's Angel now, so we can get a really good team fight in. Nice. <coughs> Let's go ball lane. I think Pantheon will show here somewhere. I could definitely 1v1 him if I see him.
Nice. Maybe get some jungle camps. Hey, there's a fight starting. We're gonna flank it. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but... These three people combined is just so hard to deal with when you're like one versus three. Uh, specifically Pantheon, man, it's just such a problem, it's such a big problem. Like, he will lock me down under the CC for a really long time. <clears throat> Wait, I'll retry again. Or what I can do is I can just not buy the red potion and just wait out the Spear of Shoujin. I think Spear of Shoujin is going to make me really OP once I have it because I'm full build. I think it will give me like a lot of uh, ability haste. I'm going to try farming for these Shoujin. I think that will probably fix the entire game. I'm like tanking it for decades. Hmm. Hard to play team fights. Just ro come here, walk, walk this way. Hmm. If you just walk this way, I would have actually killed everybody. Ah, maybe he clicks the ward or something. I don't know. I was kind of hoping he would. <laughs> There's a lot of people that tend to like click the ward if you, if you pop it like right in their face. Would have been funny if it actually happened. Would have been a barren call to be honest, but... Not anymore. Um, I can definitely buy a Spear of Shoujin now. I was farming the red potion too. Okay, time to get Spear of Shoujin. This item will probably fix the entire game. Nice. I am, I am too fed now. If I don't win the game now, then, then I don't know what will. I know that my teammates are still useless, but... I, I might specifically the ADC. I don't see him ever becoming useful, but he does do a little, a little bit of damage. Uh, if they get Drake, it's over. <laughs> I have no team here. This is not good. Okay, it's over. <laughs> I have no team here. Like, when well, my teammates backported. Oh. There are games you cannot win, guys. This is one of those. I cannot believe that Java made a comeback, dude. I destroyed this guy in lane so hard, but he still made a comeback.
Yeah, if you didn't find survive, it's still over. I, I can't fix this. Unfixable. I, I'm I'm so interested in seeing the damage from Jin. I, I can't believe that Jin has a lot of damage here. I need to see the damage. <laughs> hey, either way, this is uh, Briffin Pop against the buff Jarvan. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.